Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial equation. We have x equals 1 minus 2 times the quantity 1 minus 2x squared squared. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first method. For our first method, I'm just going to expand everything. Uh, and then we're going to write this as a quartic equation. So if you square that expression inside the parentheses, you get 1 minus 4x squared plus 4x to the fourth power. Let's go ahead and distribute. And now let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. Alrighty. Now, this equation is factorable. If you group, take out 8x squared, you get x squared minus 1. And x squared minus 1 is factorable by difference of two squares. So I can write it as x plus 1, x minus 1. And now we can go ahead and take out x plus 1 as a common factor. And then we have 8x squared, that's going to be distributed over the x minus 1, 8x cubed minus 8x squared, and then plus 1 is equal to 0. From here we get the obvious solution, x equals negative 1. The other one is a cubic, and even though this cubic kind of looks hard to solve, it's actually easy to solve because it is 8x cubed, and we can kind of change the variable here and make it a monic polynomial. Monic basically means the leading coefficient is 1. So we can write this as 2x quantity cubed minus 2 times 2x quantity squared plus 1 equals 0. And then by changing the variable, set 2x equal y we get the following, y cubed minus 2y squared plus 1 is equal to 0. One of the things that you should notice here is that the sum of the coefficients is 0. 1 minus 2 plus 1 is equal to 0. That means y equals 1 is a solution, which means y minus 1 is one of the factors. So this is factorable. Let's go ahead and factor it by breaking down the negative 2y squared. And then we can kind of factor out y squared and then minus, this is difference of two squares. Two squares gives us y plus one times y minus one. So I factored uh, y squared minus one into these. And now y minus one is a common factor. And that gives us y squared minus the quantity y plus one, but it's going to be negated and it's going to become y squared minus y minus one equals zero. So we got one of the solutions already from x plus 1, and we ended up with a cubic, and we solved the cubic, and we get uh, these two factors. Uh, one of them is a quadratic, so we're going to use the quadratic formula, but first, y equals 1, and that gives us uh, x equals 1 half, because remember, y equals 2x. So from here, we get x equals 1 half, which is another solution, in addition to the negative 1. And now we're going to deal with the quadratic equation. Let's use the quadratic formula. y becomes negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, which is 1 plus 4. And that is going to be, you get the golden flavor here, right? But that's just y. Yes. Uh oh, I don't know why it's messing up my writing y equals 1 plus minus the square root of 5 over 2. So those are the y values. By setting them equal to 2x, we get the x values. So if you, from here, x becomes 1 plus minus root 5 over 4. Okay, so we got two solutions from here. Another solution from here, x equals 1 half, and the initial one, the first one we found was x equals negative 1. So that gives us four real solutions. And this is a cortex, so those are going to be all the solutions. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the second method.
For my second method, let me rewrite my equation. Okay, I don't know why it's messing up my writing like that. Okay, so I'm going to use substitution here. I notice that if I replace 1 minus 2x squared with another variable, let's call that t, then I get 1 minus 2t squared, which looks like 1 minus 2x squared. So it's kind of like an interesting situation where you make a substitution and then you kind of get something similar, uh, something similar in structure. So our assumption tells us that, okay, t equals 1 minus 2x squared, but that also implies that x equals 1 minus 2t squared. Awesome. And this gives us a system. So we have an equation by using substitution, we turn it into a system which is easy to solve. And now we're going to solve the system. I remember that t is temporary. We're not trying to solve for t. We're trying to solve for x. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to subtract these equations. Let's go ahead and subtract side by side. We get t minus x. When we subtract 1 minus 2x squared minus 1 plus 2t squared, 1 cancels out. And we end up with something like this. 2t squared minus 2x squared equals t minus x. At this point, it might be tempting to factor out t plus x, t minus x, and then cancel out the t minus x. You should never do that. If you're solving an equation, never cancel out any variable terms. You can cancel out constants. Let's say you have something like 2 times x equals 0. Divide both sides by 2, and it's okay to get rid of the 2 there because 2 is a constant. But if you have a variable, you don't want to do that. That's problematic. You're going to lose roots. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'll factor the left-hand side. And the right-hand side, I'm just going to subtract. Instead of, you know, dividing, I'm just going to subtract it. So now t minus x is a common factor, so we can go ahead and take it out. And then from here, we get 2t plus 2x minus 1. Great. So from here we get two results. t equals x or x equals t and then 2t plus 2x equals 1. Let's go ahead and deal with the first one first. If you set t minus x equal to 0 and remember we're trying to solve for x. Our goal is to solve for x. So we can say hey x this implies x equals t. But what is t right? t is equal to 1 minus 2x squared. So I can go ahead and replace t with 1 minus 2x squared, and this gives me a quadratic equation. Let's go ahead and solve this quadratic equation. Let's put everything on the same side. And then by using the quadratic formula, I get negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, plus uh, minus 4ab, b squared minus 4ac, I'm sorry. 4ac is just uh, positive 8 and divided by 2 times 2. That is going to be negative 1 plus minus the square root of 9, which is 3, divided by 4. This means that if you take the positive sign, negative 1 plus 3 is 2 fourths. That's going to give me 1 half for x. So one of the values is 1 half. And the other one, if you take the negative sign, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4, divided by 4 is negative 1. So I get two solutions. As before and I've gotten those before remember we started off with negative 1 and then 1 half came up later so we got those two solutions and now let's go ahead and take a look at the other factor the other factor is this one and I can write it as 2t plus 2x equals 1 2t plus 2x equals 1 which means t plus x equals 1 half now let's replace t with this right? 1 minus 2x squared. So 1 minus 2x squared plus x equals 1 half. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2. 2 minus 4x squared plus 2x equals 1. I want to get rid of all the fractions. And let's put uh, x squared on the right hand side. 4x squared minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. That is going to be my other quadratic. Remember, this was a quartic. We got two solutions so far. 
these are going to give us the other two solutions. Let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula one more time. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus, that's going to turn into a plus, 4 times 4 is going to be 16. And divided by 2 times 4, which is 8. This gives us 2 plus minus. 4 plus 16 is 20. Square root of 20 is 2 root 5. And if you simplify this, you're going to get 1 plus minus root 5 over 4 as before. So we're going to have four solutions. Let's go ahead and list them. So our solutions are going to be negative 1, 1 half, 1 minus root 5 over 4, and 1 plus root 5 over 4. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.